Hey Jeff here for Digital Trends and we are looking at the new iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus. This is the new rose gold color, so if you want to get the, want everybody to know you've got the new one, if you want to get it in rose gold. They look pretty similar to the last iPhone, the iPhone 6, other than that. And there's nothing really wrong with that. They're very nice looking phones, still as beautiful as they were last year. So I'm going to show you two new features. One is called 3D Touch. These are new features of iOS 9. There's a whole bunch of other features of iOS 9, like a uh, little search menu there, and other little tidbits spread throughout uh, the phones. Those, most of those features and some of these might come to uh, two other iOS devices, but I'm going to show you 3D Touch. So it works on most things. It's kind of a, uh, you press a little harder, and you can put different amounts of pressure on the screen, and this will bring up options. It's a little like, if you're a little old school, it's, it's kind of like right-clicking on your mouse button, at least when you're on the home page here. It can also do a lot of other things. So we'll uh, go into the Instagram app here. And this is one of the apps. It's a third-party app, but it's enabled with these new features. So you can kind of preview people's profiles. And this works in your mail and your photos app, stuff like that, too. You can do quick previews of things. And if you press harder, you go right into it. And I'll try to, uh, I'm gonna go right into a, there. And then you can kind of preview any of the images too. And then if you move up, you can do a few different actions. And I'm fumbling around here a little on the video, but it's actually really easy. And then you can go right into stuff. So it's kind of like a click, click, click. You feel a little vibration each way. It's very intuitive. Then I'll show you one more thing, and it kind of relates to the 3D Touch. This is in the, uh, we'll go right into the Photos app. So we'll go to Most Recent, see if we can do that. We'll go into, oop, that was going to help me there. So this is um, Live Moments, is that correct? Live Photos, yes. So if you actually hold your photos, you can get a little, it's almost like a Harry Potter effect, they'll animate there. And this works with a lot of photos, and you can see it actually right when you record. So there's a little button up here, and you can turn live on and off, and it records about a second and a half before and after uh, you're recording. So we can uh, record there, take a photo, and then supposedly, yeah, so we can see animation there. It is a live photo. And when you share these to different iOS devices, they can see the animation. If you share it with anything else, they won't see the animation, but they'll just get you know a normal uh, photo. And this is a 12 megapixel photo. It's got an upgraded uh, camera on the back and a five megapixel selfie cam on the front. There's a whole bunch of other hardware updates, which we'll go into in the article. But that is kind of a quick look at the new iPhone uh, live photo and 3D touch effect.